Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a 404 not found error on your computer, specifically when you're browsing the internet. So a 404 error will occur when you're attempting to visit a web page that doesn't exist. So very often, and I really want to stress this right away, that the problem is on the website itself and that there is nothing you can do about it. So if this tutorial does not work for you, there's a very good chance that it's the website itself. Okay, so once you've tried that and you've checked your spelling, I would suggest opening up your web browser, trying to go back on the site. So whatever website you're having problems with, I would suggest typing it in. So it's like google.com, it's always an easy go-to site here. Just make sure your spelling is correct up here. So anything that might have been misspelled, you should definitely check to make sure you spelled it correctly. Go on to Google and then try and open up from Google rather than using the URL address bar. So if you're having a problem with YouTube, you might want to type it into Google, search it up, and then open it up through that. That's just one example, but I will be able to give you guys other ideas as well. So if that has not resolved the problem, it actually might be a possibility that your browser has cached the problem. So in order to resolve this, I would actually suggest clearing your browsing data on your browser. So if you go up to the top bar, again this is for Google Chrome here, and I go down to history, and then select history again, and then I select clear browsing data, and then you can select whatever you want here. Personally you probably want to do cache images and files, and I would suggest the other ones as well, but if you don't want to clear your browsing history, there's really not that much I can do for you for that. If you don't want to clear browsing history, that's fine, but I would highly suggest at least the other two here. And then just select clear data to confirm. So pretty straightforward. Now, if that did not resolve the problem, which I would recommend restarting the web browser after you're done with that, I'm going to have a website in the description of the video for down for everyone or just me. This is a very good website that I will use to see if a website is actually down. So if I type in google.com and then I hit enter to search it, it should say it's just you, Google is up. And you can do this with any URL link if you just paste it in here. So let's say I went to yahoo.com and let's just say I copy the URL from up at the top and I go over here and then I sort of check another site and now I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to hit enter to search should say it's just you or if it's everybody it will say it's not just you so keep that in mind um, I would hope that one of these methods would work for you guys and if that still didn't work another thing you try would be to open up the start menu type in CMD best match should say command prompt you want to right click on it left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window left click on yes okay so now you want to type in IP config exactly how it appears on my screen, so ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, all one word. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS on your keyboard. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space winsock space reset. Exactly how it appears on my screen again. Then you want to hit enter. Now you are going to have to restore your computer, which I would recommend doing, and hopefully that has also resolved the issue. So again, like I said, this very well could be a website issue that has nothing to do with this tutorial. I mean, it does have something to do with the tutorial, but it's something on your end, the user, that you will be able to control. But I would definitely suggest trying the methods in this tutorial. And you know, if you're still having a problem with the website, feel free to reach out to them via most websites have social media outreaches, um, social media posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatnot. So just try and get a hold of them that way as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.